guess what our present is. I don't want anything. It's not something you want. It's something you need. Surprise! You got me a basement? No. We locked you in our basement, so you missed your birthday party and realized how much you actually wanted it. Mm -hmm. Right. Although that is an interesting idea. It is a felony to lock people up against their will. And that's why we're going to abandon that plan and open the door right now. What's the jail time for an accidental felony? Why is nobody home? Because your daughter kept kissing frogs. That's how you get frog flu. I'll prescribe wart cream, a healthy dose of reality, and far fewer princess movies. Okay, okay. Let's not panic. I'll just text my dad. Dad, please help. They've locked me in a basement. Whoa, wait, wait! You're making it sound like we've locked you in the basement against your will! You kind of have. Your dad doesn't have to know that, and we said sorry. No, you didn't. Well, we'll say it now. Sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry. Apology not accepted! And you just said this to my dad! It was really bad! Okay, don't stress! I can fix this! Hey, Mr. Yoshida, your daughter is safe. To get her back, just follow my instructions. You need to make it work! To get her back, just follow my instructions. You need three M? As in three million dollars! Then there's emojis of a clock and a flamenco dancer. Does that make it more or less sinister? Listen, I'll just call him! Give me some And now they keep sending me weird coded messages. I'm not sure about the sheep blowing air out of his butt onto a cake, but the clock and the flamenco dancer definitely means be on time or face the music. <gasps> Don't worry, Mr. Yoshida. We've triangulated the signal. I'm sending in the big boys. Get him, get him, get him, get him. 